Hello again, Packaholics. Going to take a little break today from our uh, box break videos. These, huh, the last two boxes uh, were a disaster. I figured I'd uh, do something different for you. As a few of you, very few I would imagine, already know, and most of you don't, I was a sports card dealer full time back in the late 80s all the way to the late 1990s. I was a show dealer through most of the southern United States. Then I owned a, a, a an actual shop store in St. Petersburg, Florida for about three years and closed that down in the mid 90s and went back on the show circuit mostly in Florida all the way from Fort Walton Beach to uh, Miami with uh, a good share of my shows in the Tampa Bay area and the Orlando area at most of these shows we had autographed guests so I have rubbed elbows with some of you know the greats you know, mostly baseball, but uh, also a lot of football. One show that I would never miss would be in St. Petersburg once a year during spring training, put on by the Major League Baseball Players Association. Uh, was the the Alumni Association show. We would always have at least twenty or thirty autograph guests. Uh, most of which played in an exhibition baseball game at Al Lang Field on Saturday night. And what I'm making this video about is to tell you about what occurred one night after one of those exhibition games. Now all the players back then stayed at the Hilton Hotel across the street from the from Al Lang Stadium. And a uh, couple of the the dealers from the card show and I were in the uh, in the lounge or you know the bar area having a few pops along with you know a lot of the other ball players that were appearing at the show and right directly at the table next to us were about five or six players and I can only remember specifically four of them was Jim Mudcat Grant, who had pitched with the Indians and the Minnesota Twins in his career. Jerry Kuzman, who broke in with the Mets, and uh, his primary team was the Minnesota Twins also. Tug McGraw, who was, you know, country singer Tim McGraw's daddy, and you may remember he was quite an inspiration and uh, Hall of Famer Harmon Killebrew. Well, things got a little excited over at uh, Killebrew's table next to us when Harmon, you know, came out and said to the other guys, hey, hey my rookie card is worth $500. And he pointed over to me at our table because I had had a, have one of his rookie cards in my display case, again, for $500. And he commented on it and of course, you know, he wasn't going to shell out the money, even though I, I offered to a lower price. But, you know, Harmon wasn't the type to collect cards. He was just showing off for his friends at the table. Well, Tug McGraw, he says, wow, you know, Harmon, that's impressive. You know, you're in the Hall of Fame. You should be worth more than, you know, ours. And then Jerry Kuzman spoke up. And he says, hey, he's, I'll bet you the drinks for the rest of the night. My rookie card's worth more than all you guys put together. And, of course, Killebrew says, no way, Coos. And uh, McGraw's laughing. And, of course, Tug McGraw was always laughing. He was always in a good mood. One of the happiest guys I ever saw. Well, I heard that. And my ears perked up. And I looked over at the table. And Kuzman winks at me. And Killebrew looks at me and says, There ain't no damn way his rookie card's worth more than all of ours put together. He says, I'll take that bet. And then I start laughing. 
Killaroo says, what's up? And I says, well, sorry, Harmon, I says, but uh, Kuzman wins that bet. Looks like you're buying tonight. He says, no way. How can that possibly be? I says, well, what Jerry forgot to tell you guys was he shares his rookie card with another player. And Harmon goes, yes, yeah, so? And I says, well, that other player is some guy named Nolan Ryan. And Tug McGraw fell out of his chair. He was just laughing so hard. You know, everybody with an earshot is just, you know, going, whoa, he got you good there, Harmon. And uh, Killebrew had a pretty sick look on his face. Wasn't happy, but he knew he had been had. And uh, pretty shortly after that, uh, the table I was sitting at, you know, between myself and another three, four dealers, our, uh, the waitress comes over, you know, with a round of drinks for us. And believe it or not, courtesy of Jerry Kuzman, true story. I've got a whole lot more that's happened to me in the past that uh, I'd like to share with you all in the future. It'll be uh, every once in a while. Thanks all for the view. Hope you enjoyed the story. Say bye.